Hello and welcome to Cornish Walking Trails. As part of our Stay in Cornwall vlogs, we're here at Trithall Barns. So Trithall Barns is located near Liscard. It's a self-catering cottage. It sleeps four and it's near Loo. You can actually take the train from here down into a beautiful, absolutely lovely branch line. Trithall is near Liscard in South East Cornwall. They welcome doggies in their cottages. Okay. So shall we go in and have a look? Come on. The owner Jackie said that she wanted to create something that felt like something she would want to stay in and I guess she's aiming for something home from home so let's have a little look around. So the kitchen is just a fully fully equipped kitchen like home from home. We've got a full size dishwasher, there's a fantastic looking sink, a ceramic sink, microwave, the washing machine to wash up those sandy towels. Brilliant fridge freezer got cling film, utensils, tea towels, oven mitts. You have a large range of units here which is amazing for a holiday home. You couldn't wish for anything better. It's like home from home. Well they say the little things make a good holiday don't they? Yes. Well the attention to detail here is fantastic. So not only have you got some coffee, some tea bags as well. Salt, pepper, olive oil, little bits that you can add to your cooking. Kindling, Logs, a wood burning stove. What a lovely touch. Covered under the stairs. Oh, I thought it was a downstairs loo. <laughs> no, there's an error, vacuum cleaner, even some shopping bags just in case you forget them. Brilliant. Thought of everything, didn't I? Yes. Look at those beauties. <sighs> Homemade. Oh, fantastic. A disclosure, we've been gifted a night's accommodation here. We're in Pasco's Pippin and it has its own private courtyard. Let's go and have a little look. This beautiful little flower bed. Some are lovely to eat. And it's just surrounded by trees. This would be such a sun trap early morning. Breakfast here, imagine it. Sausages on the barbecue. What, for Why breakfast? Not? Yeah. Fantastic. I like a sausage for breakfast. I like beans, I like eggs, I like bacon, I like hash brown. Let's go up and have a look at the bedrooms that was there. A full bath and not a mark on that glass. It is immaculately clean, beautiful, very well presented. Everything's been thought of hand wash here for you. So the second bedroom upstairs is the master. Doesn't this look so inviting? And being a barn conversion two different size shaped windows which gives it so much character, it's lovely. And it just feels so airy in here, probably due to that beautiful double height ceiling. And let's have a look at the ensuite. Oh, it's exquisite isn't it? Oh, so here we have a walk-in shower, again so immaculately presented. Huge. I'm so pleased. It's beautiful, isn't it? This cottage is one of three in a private little courtyard. Isn't it beautiful? Trithal 
Food Barn's website, they recommend some of the fish and chips called the Coddy Shack. So that's where we've come to get our evening meal, hoping to take it down to Millendreth, eat it on the beach and walk into the Louvre. Don't know if we can have enough time. We'll get to the Louvre somehow. Things I do in research. <laughs> Feeling full after my fish and chips. We're going to walk that off now and try and pick up the coastal path whilst the sun is setting and walk to Loo. Sarah, we're in Millendreth Steps bottom. <laughs> Do we need to get to Millendreth Steps top? Oh, after all those chips. Uh, exercise will be good for us. <laughs> so I made it up the steps and I've kind of recovered my breath. We're walking through some really rather nice houses and the coast path is signed. Beautiful colours in the sea tonight, so. Do you think we'll make it into Loo before the sun sets? I don't know. I think we'll definitely be walking back in the dark, but it's worth it, isn't it? TV. Have you sussed it out yet? Well, I've got two controllers now. <laughs> now, what's on TV? Are you sure you sussed this yeah, out? Yeah, 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 yeah. So we've got entertainment, we've got right. movies, oh, we've okay. got Sky Cinema on here, we've even got Sky Sports. Oh. Here's to planning. Cheers. Sarah? Yeah? Got a problem. What's that? Can't reach my wine. <laughs> That's right, darling. I'll drink it for you. Good idea. Morning. Good morning. Do you sleep well? Yeah, the, the sheets on that bed are so soft, so comfy. I'm loving that sleep. Yes. Look at these. I know. I didn't know you got these. They're so cute. What do you fancy? I haven't had these since I was a kid. Frosties, cornflakes, rice oh, frosties. Frosties for me, please. Some love in the kitchen, Sarah. It's yeah. A classic farmhouse look, isn't it? So you've it's got beautiful. Got the top coloured kitchen doors there. Lovely thick, solid oak worktop. A farmhouse ceramic sink. Lovely brand new mixer tap. We've got some quality appliances. Look at the dishwasher. Smeg dishwasher. It's fantastic. It's a really lovely, great kitchen. Jackie and Graham have put together a brilliant little top 10 things to do. Number one on Jackie and Graham's list is a National Trust property. We went to Land Hydrock. We've been to Cateel as well, but Land Hydrock would keep you busy, especially on a wet day like today. So it would be an option for a rainier day. My dad calls this cornishing. 
At number five on their list is Foy. Love Foy, home of Daphne du Maurier. Can't escape the Maurier feeling in the town. There is a fantastic four mile walk, the Foy Hall Walk. Takes you across the river on one ferry, down the side of the Foy River to a beautiful little village, Pont Mill, and then down to Pol Ruin and back across the pedestrian ferry. It's great fun. If you can hear things going on in the background, he's doing the dishes, dear of him. I do have my uses. I'm doing the research. So one of Jackie and Graham's suggestions is Cardinham Woods. We visited Cardinham Woods, excellent place to go. There's a video on our channel that features actually my mum and dad coming with us. It's quite an easy place to walk around and there's a fantastic cafe at the end of it. We've also got some footage of Cardinham Village, very interesting church up there. Perhaps we'll put some of the clips in here. And this is ideally situated to get you onto Bob Memorial. You can explore the cheese ring from here. The cheese ring is a natural rock formation. It's only about 20 minutes from Lisgard, easily accessible from Trithall. 17 miles away is the Rain Peninsula. It's the most beautiful scenic part of Cornwall, a hidden gem. It's called the secret corner of Cornwall. Well worth an explore if you get the opportunity. So we're coming to the end very sadly, of our stay at Trithall Barnes. Just as a disclosure, this has been gifted to us by Jackie. She told us that she wanted to create somewhere that she would be happy to stay, but in my opinion, she surpassed that. It's a home from home. It is gorgeous, so well equipped. Yeah, it's so comfortable here as well. And it's a beautiful location. It's quite private and you've got the whole of South East Cornwall on your doorstep. You've got a fantastic walks along the South West Coast Path. You can do like we did and walk down into Loo but you could also go to Bobby Moore area as well. There's so much to see and do here. It's a fantastic place to stay. And remember to check out Jackie's website, trithallbarns.co.uk and tell them Sarah and Andrew from Cornish Walking Trails sent you. To help us grow our channel, please subscribe and consider supporting us on Patreon.